time now for some music news that's happening today. Our headline, Local Boy Makes Good. Jesse's Record Company is trying something new. They made a filmed version of the title song to his new album. These music clips, as the record company calls them, will be shown on TV to help promote sales. Here's the first showing anywhere of Jesse Thomas's new song, Just the Way I Planned It. for some music news that's happening today. Jesse's record company is trying something new. They made a filmed version of the title song to his new album. These music clips, as the record company calls them, will be shown on TV to help promote sales. Here's the first showing anywhere of Jesse Thomas's new song, Just the Way I Planned It. Time now for some music news that's happening today. Our headline, Local Boy Makes Good. Jesse's record company is trying something new. They made a filmed version of the title song to his new album. These music clips, as the record company calls them, will be shown on TV to help promote sales. Here's the first showing anywhere of Jesse Thomas's new song, Just the Way I Planned. <laughs> some music news that's happening today. Jesse's record company is trying something new. 
they made a filmed version of the title song to his new album. These music clips, as the record company calls them, will be shown on TV to help promote sales. Here is the first showing anywhere of Jesse Thomas's new song, Just the Way I Planned It.
Welcome to the Game and Garbage channel. Sh show. Game and Garbage. I'm like even less set up than I normally am. Wait, the only good news is uh, dog cam as reliable as ever. You can always depend on dog cam 2000. That's the gaming garbage pledge to you, the viewer. You know, like how you have to accept cookies. When you watch a gaming garbage video, you have to accept dog cam 2000 into your heart. Hi, Miracle. Hi, everybody. It's the gaming garbage crew. That's the thing. We don't, we don't get new people, new viewers. We don't actually gain viewers. Um, let me, um, see if I can pull this up. This will be, uh, entertaining for you guys to see the exact depths of my failures in many facets of life. But this is a, um, this will be fun. Hold on a second. Enjoy dog cam, uh, while I try to figure out how to get some graphage for you. And I hope you enjoyed the new uh, Local Boy Makes Good intro. If you did, then... <laughs> Five dollars for doggo food and or treats. Thank you, Furious Angle 42. This leads me to believe that due to the progress so far, I should just leave it on dog cam for like several hours. Dog, literally, is my autopilot. Um, audience, uh, subscribers. Mm. Lifetime. Doesn't really show lifetime shit. Yeah, it's not gonna do it. Yeah, that's not fun. Okay, never mind. Forget about that. Um, so anyways, I got stuck. <laughs> well, I was trying to find the uh, original Photoshop file of the gaming garbage icon, which, of course, I have placed in some ethereal otherworldly dimension. Because I don't organize things. 
you guys, uh, you probably haven't noticed it because gaming garbage usually just flies like a, um, apparently a farting, well-oiled, greased machine of digital love. But you, I, I'm, I'm not that, uh, I'm not that organized in general. And so anyways, I was going through the files and I was finding old, let me, uh, I was finding um, old flash tubs and I was sending them to some asshole named Mike, Mike Phalanx or something like that. And uh, I was like, man, some of this shit used to be funny. I don't know if I... I don't know whatever happened to Schmorky, but I hope he's dead. Because at least that would bring things to a close. Right now, it feels like there is no ending to the story. Because we don't... Uh, and this is my best guess. Um... We don't know if he's dead or alive or what, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that he does exist and he's doing a different style of art somewhere because he's tried that before. He pretended to be a Japanese girl. Oh, go figure. Schmorky pretending to be a girl. You did. What is the, that's just absolutely shocking. I'm sure He's like on some uh, site doing commissions of like Yoshi laying an egg. And then as he lays the egg, a baby Yoshi comes out and climbs back and forth out of the mom, the mother Yoshi's butt. And then the dad Yoshi, uh, I'm not even going to continue with that. Uh, give me a second really quick here. This always fucks up my video. It fucks up my video, and it makes my face look even more like I'm an alcoholic. Um, I was trying to figure out what to do today. We've also got a couple games that we didn't get to last time. I know it's probably been bothering all of you guys out there, and girls, and uh, Yoshis climbing out of uh, eggs in a highly erotic way but uh i'm gonna get to those first and then we will get to hell i mean we'll be in hell we'll just be in a different hell we'll be in a hell with uh robert uh urich urich who um if you're not familiar with the 80s basically if there was a movie or tv show he would be the first to show up even if they're not even having auditions and they haven't even announced the project, he would somehow know where they are, and he would show up. And they're like, Robert Urit, how did you know about this? And he'd be, he'd be like, I'm the Eric Roberts of the 80s. And they're like, well, what about Eric Roberts? He, he still exists. And he'd be like, yeah. I'm every woman, you know, it's all in you. Anything you want done, baby, I do it naturally. Oh, oh, oh. And they'd be like, that song doesn't exist yet, Robert. And he'd be like, fuck all y'all. I'm out of here. But that's why everybody says, uh, you know, Robert was ahead of his time. What with being able to be in every single movie at the same time, like some sort of uh, evil superhero. Give me a second here. Uh, da, 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 da. 928, there it was. Oh yeah, we got to the Mr. Clean game and that upset me too much. Uh, we've got uh, something called Athamore. 
Athamore, Athamore, something like that. Athmore, I think, which was that uh, Wes Anderson movie about uh, Bill Murray, and he's in an elevator. Will Eric Roberts win a Lifetime Achievement Award for his work on the Lifetime channel? You'll win a, a um, Lifetime Achievement Award for being a great guy and giving me a significant sum of money. Mike, I, I know I'm not answering your question. But I appreciate it. And uh, that's really awesome. Thank you very much, my man. So let's begin. Let's get into the uh, exciting world of whatever the fuck I said this game was. And apparently has no audio. Game introduction. In case if you didn't know you are being introduced to the game, it lets you know. Game introduction. Last week... I got my hands on an ancient treasure map, which I won in a card game. <laughs> Who the, who, who, was everybody betting treasure maps or just like, oh, buddy, or they're like, they're like, Steve, no, don't go. And he's like, I'm broke. And they're like, you got an ancient treasure map on you because you can stay in a couple hands if you do. And he's like, uh, yeah, yeah, I got an ancient treasure map. And they're like, okay, you're in. And somebody else won it, apparently. The map, des the map describes the ruins of Athamore. Rumors say that the crown of Atharlardus. Lardus was my nickname in high school. Atharlardus might, might still be inside the dungeon somewhere. They say that the crown is made of solid gold. And it has jewels engraved around it. <coughs> <coughs> My voice isn't very good today. I apologize. It's worse than usual. Hold on. I clearly need to suck more dicks. If I can manage to get my hands on that crown, I can finally retire for good. However, rumors also state that the place is haunted. No one has ever returned. Well, then how did the rumors get... Whatever. Unfortunately, the map was stolen from me. I bet Jeffrey... Fucking Jeffrey. Radicalizing Antifa and now stealing crowns. And his clumsy crew had something to do with it. Ever since I left the guild, those fools have been having a hard time setting up new expeditions on their own. I'm far better off working alone. There are a few days ahead of me. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Hopefully, they haven't acquired the crown yet. Jerome. <laughs> Famous adventurer and poker winning hero, Jerome. Trying to catch up with Jeffrey. There we go. Okay, how to play. How to play. As you progress, you will find some interesting objects. That's promising. Some objects are collect collectible and some are readable. If the crosshair turns green, the trap is clean. Also, watch out for dangers such as traps and enemies. You will die instantly if you aren't observant. Luckily, there's several checkpoints. Game duration is somewhere between 15 and 30 minutes. I will not get anywhere near that far, but okay. Fucking Jeffrey. Okay, there is sound in this. Good, okay. Here I am. I, I am, as you can tell, Jerome, I fell through the ceiling of Ather, Ather Crombie and, and, uh, uh, oh, Dandruff. I need this. Day one. I managed to pickpocket the map from Jerome last night. Wait, who the fuck is reading this? Or writing this? Did we write our own diary and then scatter it around and now we're picking it up? Here is money to invest hamster cryptocurrency. Thank you, Snarled Lemon 76 And also, as you guys can tell, I boosted the sound of the donations so everybody can enjoy uh, Jesse's new music hit. 
I managed to pickpocket the map from Jerome last night without him noticing. He is not soon enough for this task, the task of noticing. Jeffrey and I are planning to head south for Athamore tomorrow. Hopefully that fool Jerome won't be... Wait, 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 hold on. I managed to pickpocket Jerome. Okay, wait. Jeffrey and I... Okay, so this is a cohort. Sorry, I got their names wrong due to the fact that I really don't give any kind of shit. I'm Jerome or Judy or Papa Pump. Ah! Well, at least that wasn't an object of interest. Good thing I didn't see the fuck out of it. You know, what they say, if it... Poor soul. She didn't make it far, but what... Kill... Huh? Wait, what? Did I miss something? Oh, okay. Uh, apparently, unlike the character in the game... Hold on, let me just stand on her corpse and... Day four. Of all misfortunes, Jeffrey has been brutally killed. <gasps> oh, our poker games will never be the same again. Sadly, he went into a deadly spike trap. He didn't stand a chance. What we feared the most has happened. They're right. The voices are stuck in my head. I can't take it anymore. I'm not staying for another moment down here. I'm going home. And then she died. Yeah, okay. Oh, this looks really easy. The crown? You have, re you have reacquired the map, finally. What's mine is mine, and what's theirs is mine. Map. Okay. I need golden plate. And I need golden goblet. I'm like Joseph fucking Smith. Traversing the plains of the mighty Midwest. With my magic glasses. And, oh. Oh. There's bats playing the violin. Oh, by the way, I need to look out for enchanting traps. God forbid I stumble into one. Okay, that's not of interest. Oh, oh, this is of interest. So basically, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm picking up things to decorate my grandma's apartment with. Also, my grandma's been dead for like decades, so. Really, uh, corpses can't be choosers, I guess. Is... Oh no, it's the trailer for a new movie. I hate that sound. Okay, so I need to like a set of like silverware, goldenware, I guess. Yeah, just uh, a thousand and one Hollywood uh, music cues. Keep them all coming. Oh, is this some sort of puzzle? Puzzle of what the fuck is making this noise? Oh, uh, th that was just all a door opening. Okay. We had to lock away the silver plate. It killed 13 children. Keep it down. I got dining wear to pick up. Oh boy. The ghost of sperm pass just passed me. I have not seen, thank you, Toe the Lion, for following, I appreciate it. I have not seen the light of day since I was brought down here to this dark hell. This reads like caves of hell. Are you telling me I'm not going to see the light of day until I get out of this dark hell hole? I have no sense of time by now. Despite my innocence, they do not listen. There is no food. And they just keep torturing us on a daily basis. I'm writing this down, so eventually one day there will be a screenplay and it will not be accepted by the general public. And might even just stay in the concept stage. <laughs> the, the weeping piss pot! What, what was that? Serious? 
seriously, the, the, the piss jug was weeping. This is why people don't like truckers. <laughs> Jerome or Jeffrey or whoever. <laughs> okay, let me consult my map. Mm, uh, where is the food court? Or is a wine cellar? That's wine cellars are kind of like nature's food court. So, okay, is there like a golden ashtray or something? No. Oh, oh, another note. We are at full. Not reading it. Don't care. Uh, okay, that's uh, the proverbial hot seat. Huh? Okay, well. It certainly was an adventure through the dark and mysterious corridors of Algernon or whatever the fuck. Let me out and or in. Grandma needs a goblet. That's what I used to say when I gambled, when I go to the casino before rolling the dice, I'd be like, Grandma needs a goblet. And then I just throw the dice like across the room say that I won by default. Why can't I take, like, the golden table? The, oh, well, Grandma wants these. How's... Gotta go back and get the uh, weeping piss jug. Oh! Grandma needs a skillet! And what, Grandma could be making soup! I got two things here! Can't even fucking pick them up! gonna be very disappointed yep blah 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 certainly typed words for lore generally speaking and if you're new to this channel this is a very important information generally speaking if a game requires me to read I'm not gonna really indulge it Because, like, if I wanted to read, I'd pick up one of those, uh, those, uh, uh, what do they call them? Those things with paper and there's words. Let me check my map here. Uh. God damn, this is a fucking. Oh. Well, um. So there's, like, a. Uh. Okay. Well, rule of thumb is you get it cut off if you. Oh, I did not even see the checkers there. I stepped on someone's checkers. That's why I died. But as you can tell, uh, I'm good at video games and I learned from my mistakes. Fuck you, words. I want to light every single page I see on fire so nobody else will run the risk of possibly reading this. Dear Diary, uh, Jerome and or Jeffrey kiss me on the neck gently when I was almost asleep. He thought I was sleeping, but I wasn't. I have mixed emotions. I don't know what to tell him. Could Rye? Are we like naming breads now? Oh, 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 the golden candlestick. We can be in the movie Clue. It's always been a dream of mine to be in the movie Clue or the movie Night Court. Assuming they would make a movie of Night Court. After they resurrect half the cast, including Marky Post. Because I'm not doing it. Oh, another goblet. I've got like. I'm the Costco of golden goblets. Okay, any checkers? Nope. Things checker out here. Sorry I'm not paying attention to the chat right now. I'm really just completely enamored with this. 
incredible. Noisy as fuck and not what huh? Wait, where are these? What, what is the point of these fucking musical cues if they're not attached to anything? Oh, jeez, I found a, a cup with exploding dandruff. Let's hit, uh, let, let's uh, cue up the orchestral hit. Let me check my map here. Okay. That helped me a lot. Okay, I think I need to stay here. Now, what I'm gonna do here, this is called Straggity, by the way. This is called Straggity. Just Blue! The new goblet, Jeff K. Rip. Jeff K. is still around. You don't need to rip him in peace. I really appreciate it. You're using the built in mic, Lotax. I am? Oh, shit! Thank you. I'm sitting here stalk, talking about straggity. What the fuck? And no, I'm not. I'm not using the, um, is there something wrong with the, uh, sound? Shit, now I'm all, um, fucking paranoid. Testing, 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 blah, blah, blah. Built-in microphone. Is this different? Dude, if you want to fuck with me anytime, tell me my audio's off, because I will go fucking proverbial hog wild trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. My voice sounds like that of a middle-aged man. Yeah. Uh, a somewhat overweight middle-aged man. Okay, great. We can get back to... Um... See, now I forgot my straggity. The physicality channel fucked my shit up by pulling the oldest trick in the book, which was when God got the bears to uh, kill the kids. And that's what happened to me, but in the sense of having a built-in microphone. So it, 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 it uh, you guys get me every time with that. It's low volume. It, dude, it's not, I'm hitting like negative three decibels or so. Is it low for anybody else? Pancake! Are you intoxicated? No, I uh, don't drink anymore. I haven't drank in a very long time. I'm not intoxicated, I'm just stupid. Okay, so he's just fucking with me. Congratulations, you did it. You have won the video game of fucking with my brain. Which is already a goddamn. It's. Uh, I gotta tell you this story, okay? I was playing poker with Jerome. And. You know, I had lost everything. Because A, I don't understand poker. And B, I was showing everybody my cards. In fact, I would I, I was offering my cards to people. I'd be like, 
do you need an extra card? They'd be like, no. And I'd say, do you want to exchange one of yours for mine? And at time, sorry, I guess I'm exhaling. And at times they would say yes after going through my card. Sometimes they would say no. Oh, oh, not falling for that again. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, don't do it, asshole. Okay, I am actually done with this game. Because I refuse to go through a castle that has been plundered already, or not plundered, by uh, uh, Jerome or Pinky or uh, the Stegosaurus Lou or whoever the fuck it was while it talks to me. Because that's the goddamn noisiest abandoned castle I have ever been in. All right, we got a good sign here. We already have the Unreal engine trying to get through my firewall. Okay, Miracle! Miracle! You're not going to fool me with video. I can look at the video right now and I can see that it... Wait, I, I have to open the fucking game? <laughs> I thought I just did that by clicking on the name. Okay, okay. I love the OSS series, by the way. Settings, not added. Yet he has the button. Credits, not added. I am gonna... I'm just gonna keep fucking mashing the credits button until eventually this gets updated. OSS 8516, I didn't know this series went that high. The one in Brazil. Um, okay. All right. Well, again, uh, do same thing impossible. Super hard. Okay, medium. <clears throat> oh. You did. You did not shoot the fire. I. Oh, and I still controlled the camera. I didn't. Okay. Wasn't aware that was the objective, but now I know. Retry. Retry. Okay. Uh, you did not shoot the... F I, I thought I did. That's the, that's the mystery of... Um... Hold on a second. Let's uh, let's uh, increase this to hard. The fire killed you, so it came out of a different hole. The wait, no, it, it it did. It actually didn't. Okay. Well, um, there you go, guys. Uh, my gaming prowess, again, on display for the public to see. This is why, again, I'm part of the OSS uh, cyber team online. We actually just came from a big match in Brazil. I was talking about it before, but... Uh, they, they they had the um, flame launch slash OSS e cyber sports online competition. I'm part of uh, crew flame launcher killers. I thought you weren't gonna play triple A titles low tax. <laughs> yeah, phys no physicality channel. I uh, I'm sorry. I I mean I appreciate the donation again. Everybody is being very. Very generous tonight, and I appreciate it more than you could know. No, actually, you could probably know. It, it, it's well within knowable um, realms. But you had me with the audio, and you, you, you totally mind-fucked me. And so the, the, I, I was expecting a follow-up like that, but... 
Yeah. This is the, oh no. Oh, okay, you guys get to see Dr. Manhattan. Oh, this, this looks triple A here, buddy. Just really smoking clo close. Just really close. <laughs> the opening cinematic and then cut to Skybox. Oh. Oh, we have us uh, we have servers. Okay. Uh only jeez. Uh, I I hope they can eventually expand around the item info. Let's see. This section is about the item that you MIG found in game in and the in their effect. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this music actually because it's killing me loudly. Item, the binocular, usable. Give give you the ability to zoom by uh, pressing right. Click on your mouse. I'm glad they specified. Um, uh, oh, well, I, I wasn't aware I could physically relocate the text. But I was gonna say, I usually uh, when I right click, it's I, it's usually right clicking on the A key, which causes me to hit S, and then just I'm like, why can't I turn left? Just as S hand lamp not usable. Okay, give you light all around you. Show phone not usable. It's the creator phone. It will warn you if any monster approach you, but it will only ring if the monster it's really close. Oh, now, okay, I see where the name of the game comes from. An idiot. Running shoes, not usable, give you the ability to run 10% faster. Useful to outrun monster like THC6? Isn't that like... I see that advertised at all the vape stores. Water bottle, not usable. With this, you will be able to run 1.5 seconds longer. If only I could use it. Flashbang, usable. T, of course. You can use this flashbang to make the monster blind for four seconds, but it couldn't. Went, okay, well, fine. Uh, game info. The game is a horror game, so, comma, it's pretty scary. Goal. Your goal is to follow the tasks that y y are on your... Okay, whatever. I'm ready. Go. Okay. Uh, I'm being followed by a black hole. Which is why I'm driving at a leisurely pace. I gotta give this game credit so f what the fuck so far though um it's actually explaining how you i love your car man let me what the fuck it actually well wait no i was gonna say that the game explained how you get to the location where you begin but it looks like that ain't happening we're here and Jesus Christ, we are slow. This is the fastest you can go. All right. Uh, oh. Huh? Create. Jo uh, create. Uh, your name is now guest 790. Like hell it is. My name is Video... Oh, shit. I can't type around my mic. 
Video Game Master uh, 2. In case if there's another one. Submit. Yes, it worked. Create. Uh, name of the room. <laughs> Create. Number of player in the room, one. Oh, am I supposed to be like, is this multiplayer? Can, can I, uh... Please just click any this button once or your game will break. Oh boy. If this is multiplayer, I'll give you all the link. <gasps> Magic orbs. Oh, goody, goody. Okay, 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 okay. This is good. This is good. Hold on, leave. All right, uh, let me find the URL of this game so I can send it to you guys. And you guys can join uh, whatever the fuck the name of this game is. I probably uh, should try to remember that. Just really close. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hope you're on a personal computing or machine. Just really close. Starring Glenn Reilly. Oh, goody. Oh, yes. Here it is. All right. I'm going to paste this into the chat room. Here we go. The link has been posted. And I'm going to actually uh, pin it. I am going to, uh, shit, rename me again. Uh, my name is now Guest49. Uh, no, I am um, Games Master Anthony. Games Master Anthony. The name of the room, I'm just going to simply name it one and create. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to sit here for a while. Everybody, go to that Game Jolt link if you have a personal computering machine that's able to crunch all the numbers. Like I said before, I had a terrible accident with my computering machine. Um, physicality Channel! I'm not changing my name to High Tax. And that Joseph Biden guy... Not the best president. I could name like seven presidents better than him. Actually, I can't name seven presidents total. I could make up names though, like um, uh, Jefferson Merriweather, good president. Why? Also, it did. It did not keep my. You just said you should change name to High Tax. Yeah, I already read that. You're slow. You're behind me. I read fast. I'm a smart guy. It changed my name back to Guest 429, I believe. So I'm going to sit here for a while. We're going to chill. Uh, hopefully some of you guys right now, or girls, or whatever the fuck you are, are downloading this from Game Jolt. The, uh, the, how big is the fucking file? I do not believe it's particularly... It's only 429 megs. Um, so in the meantime, let me see if I can uh, dig this up again. While we're waiting for guests to join. Uh, this is from... E... Yes, from E... Uh, 2016, I was at my, my kids proudly, well, one of my kids proudly graduated, uh, the, uh, D.A.R.E. program. Yeah, it took a, it took a lot of, just, just a ton, a ton of skills to do it, you know, um, because the D.A.R.E. program is just, it, it's, it's really taxing on your brain, you know, you have to. Sit in a chair, then a cop comes in and he tells you that drugs are bad. And then, of course, two years later, the drugs that he's saying that are bad are legalized and kind of counters anything you said. 
But they, they, they make the kids uh, read these stupid fucking idiotic speeches about how useful D.A.R.E. was because, you know, as taxpayers, we're all like fucking sitting there like dumbasses, just like, oh, oh, God, oh, I'm really sweating. Did my kid graduate D.A.R.E.? Will he have to take it again and start from the beginning? Fortunately, they all graduated. Um, even the kids who openly bring meth to school. And then they got to write these, well, they had to write these dumb speeches and then read them. I wish I had a better microphone on it or the acoustics were less shitty because it was in a fucking gym. Because uh, this first girl was, oh, wait, that's not a girl. That, that's a that's a boy. Girls are nature's boys. Um I don't know what D.A.R.E. stands for, but I know that... Okay, we got another guest. All right, we're 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 rolling here. This is good. This is good. I'm going to wait for, I guess, maybe two more people to join. Guest 966. Let's see. Um, Tenzarin, thank you for joining. I see if if anybody else right now is downloading the game or is in the process of starting the game, just like post something in the chat so I know and I don't sit here. Uh guess 420. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. I'm talking about dare and mm. Going to wait for a um, couple more. There's no way they have server. No, <laughs> I'm assuming it's uh, I'm running it locally and people are connecting because um, I believe the Unreal uh, firewall warning popped up at the beginning. Unless if that was that other game about shooting the fire. Which it might have been. You can wait for a few. Um, you better wait. I'll wait for you, Pancake. I'll do it for you, baby. Yeah, they, they came and they taught the kids how smoking and, and, and this girl, you know, read her speech and she was like, I really liked how Officer Shit Pants would tell us jokes. And did you know that smoking marijuana has more tar than smoking a cigarette? She actually said that. That's what they teach them. That smoking weed somehow has more tar in it. Officer Shitpants, you get to fucking keep your name. Good job. Uh, I think, uh, let, me, let me see. <laughs> Thank you, Mikey. Uh, they, they're teaching them that apparently the, the worst thing in the world is, uh, the, the amount of tar that comes from smoking marijuana, which is more than smoking a cigarette. And now it's, uh, legal here. So, uh, all the kids can go out and get that, get that precious tar they need in their life. Gonna wait for one more person, guest, uh, 966, 420, and shit pants hang around for one more second because if I remember correctly, when we began the game, uh, it mentioned something about orbs, and we got to collect those motherfucking orbs, and we need as many people as possible to make such a thing a resounding success, much like the D.A.R.E. program. Yeah, it was, it was, it was Death Drug. Snarled Lemon, thank you. I appreciate it. You're a different snarled lemon. Aren't you a different snarled lemon? Have you gone up in frequency? I thought you were 42. How many fucking snarled lemons are there? 
funny comment here. Okay, I'm just gonna start it then. I'm gonna start it. Uh, if you're not in, uh, then uh, you know what they say. If you're not in the room, then it, uh, kids don't take shroom. There you go. Let's see if this will start. Okay. All right. Now to check out to see if the players that... Can I toggle my... What the fuck was that? Uh, if the players who... Oh, it's raining stars. Who the game claimed were in the server are actually in the server. It's always cool when survival. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Hey, <laughs> you look like shit. Nice fucking shoulder lamp there. Did you fall off a bike? Okay, we got to work together to get the orbs, man. We got five orbs. Also, I appreciate how guest can we, uh, is there a way to like interact or do things here? No. Oh. Also, the net code, not the best. Unless if guest is somehow teleporting. All right, I've messed with the guest, but we need to find the rest. As they say, we need to find our flashbangs. Our, oh my God, tiki lamps. The Proud Boys are here. Yo, guess where, where the? F oh wait, yeah, I, I just realized that it's probably nigh impossible to follow. So, oh, oh, I see that person to follow anybody in this game due to the fact that they jump by half a mile every second. I have to run. Ara, what are you doing here? You need to be aware. There are monsters here. You wonder what kind of monsters will monsters like me. All right, well, uh, words certainly appeared, I suppose. Um, man, I saw somebody down here using my extraordinary gaming skills I have determined that this map is approximately several hundred thousand million miles by 700,000. There we go! Uh, wait, wait. No, wait, that's not a new guest. I was all excited. I thought we had found a um, new person here, but the good news is, is that we found the uh, world's largest deflated trampoline. And of course, uh, Various are there proud girls? <laughs> Baron de ghost. No, <laughs> there's this. Oh, 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 here we are. Okay, we're all together. Sorry, uh, that was a uh... oh, guys, watch out there. Oh, <laughs> what? uh, you did it, guys. Good job. The power. Of teamwork helped us propel that monster from our inflamed testicle. Okay, I guess it does not. Wait, are we? We got. Oh, shit. We got balls and orbs popping up everywhere. Are we placing them? No, it says magic orbs zero out of five. Yet they are appearing. Here, anyway, I think we need to hit the button. No. Okay, we have uh, placed the inflamed testicles of uh... Also, I don't think that that pink monster guy 
will be able to get inside this house through the fact that he's the size of it. And I'm having difficulty just getting up the stairs. Oh, it's a... Uh, it's treehouse. So it's tree... Oh. <laughs> well, you know... Oh, God, it's the fucking generic house model! I remember that from that other goddamn game. Is this an orb? No, it's... You know, you, you move in and, you know, you... It's an old house. You know, they're gonna come with some radioactive waste. And the barrel will be embedded in the wall. Oh, I think these are... No, wait, they can't possibly. They're, they're, they're toilet paper rolls. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it appears that... Um, uh, <laughs> Come in! The door's on the other side! We're having a housewarming party and we're waiting for a... Wait, is that a... No, it, it just changed... We're all guests. Okay. Can you talk now? Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to figure out like about eight things at once. And none of them make sense and they're all done poorly. Okay, there's some sort of sound cue coming... Okay, uh, he's back. Street shark. I'm gonna see how you guys deal with this. Uh-oh. Come on in the house! That... No, no, come on in, guys. That... That, that shiny-ass, uh... Pride motherfucker can't fit. Oh shit, no, I can't get in. Gotcha! All right, you guys, I've immobilized them. Now everybody use your powers to go. Oh shit! He's ruining the party! God damn it, I fell. I became a victim of my own hubris. But at least I get to hear soothing new age music. That's just slightly detuned. Why is he on my fucking case? Like I I I, I know yeah, guess here, he's all yours. You 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 can No, he's still coming after me. You you <laughs> Boy, I'm glad I organized this. <laughs> Good luck to the rest of you guys. Uh, I'm currently dead. Um. <laughs> Oh, when I'm dead, I can still jump. That that's uh I, I'm literally not dead on my feet. That's good, but I can't move. I'm hot corpse a popping. Okay, so uh not to question my own gaming skills, but Somehow this motherfucker was able to pathfind his way to me and now he's stuck on a twig. Or he's strategically planning his next move. Or, you know, and, and I shudder to think about it, but maybe everybody else just... Hold on. Yeah, no, he doesn't give a shit. Okay, so that's a feature. The person who creates the server is the only one that the monster targets. Everybody else, you can all run around and fuck with this dude because he doesn't care. 
Just go ahead. He, he, he's 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 into that twig. You're all safe. Here. I have no idea what uh, my jumping corpse looks like, but yeah, he gives no fuck about anybody else. He just goes after the guy who's dumb enough to start the server. Hi right, guys, I'm muted. I'm from some European country that changes names every 30 days or so. I'm Signor Uded. <laughs> Showing off uh, your fancy moonwalk there. Wait, maybe it it looks like uh, that person does not have the word guest above their head, so they may be dead. I mean, they may be you did. But I did not see uh, the street shark of Taffy, like, swing. Oh, oh. Oh, he's quitting the game. Oh, wait, no, no. There's things happening. Oh, shit. It's on! Never mind, he's aggro! Quick, train him to town! Let the guards handle him. You got some nice vertical leap there, guest. This music sounds like somebody's throwing pebbles at a kettle drum. No, he, I, I guess he's back to the uh, twig again. Or we're all dead. I don't know. Let, let me, uh. I'm trying to see if everybody else is dead or if it's just me. It's, uh. No, he killed me. Oh, we're all dead. We're all dead. Okay, I, I guess it just doesn't touch. Wait, wait, wait. This, um... You've, uh, guessed. Not to be confused with guests and guests. You're the last survivor. It's all up to you. You gotta get five magic orbs, I think. Uh, you gotta unravel the secret of the taffy street shark. Keep wanting to say sewer, sewer shark. We all you dead guys. So man, that was uh, and that was easy. I am not going to ask anybody to ever join that again. So that was just really close. The game that reminds you. Uh, Thanks for playing. Thanks for joining. We're going to get... Anyways, we need to get back to Invitation to Hell. I don't know if you've seen this before. I've shown clips of it. And I did the lazy thing where I'm just like, I'm going to show you the highlights. Oh, oh, oh. And I just skipped around like a fucking dumbass. Instead of just showing the whole movie. And so now you're going to have, you know, the choice parts already in your mind. Unless, of course, you have been drinking. I'd like to remind everybody I have not. I have not drank in a exceptionally long time. But uh, Invitation to Hell was 1984 made for TV movie. Uh, I don't remember which network it was. But that was back when, and I remember this, because in case if you're not aware, by looking at my horribly weathered and disfigured face. I'm old, you know. And we had a TV that was in a giant fucking wooden enclosure. And it had a slot you could put the remote in. 
which makes sense because if you're going to be using a t the, the remote of course was high tech at the time it was like the year 1702 or something like that but you know you've got the remote you're going to be sitting by the tv and obviously put the remote inside the tv so you don't lose it you're not going to like leave it on the chair or whatever and so anyways, when there'd be uh, made-for-TV movies, there'd be a big spectacle about them, and they'd start promoting them, like, weeks before. They're like, next week on ABC goes to the movies. We've got Robert Urich. Urich. Ur I kind of forget to pronounce that his name. I'm not good with words tonight. Robert Urich. <laughs> Shit. And Susan Lucci. In Wes Craven's Invitation to Hell. And then they'll show like clips of it. And then you got to make, you would have to make sure that you're not doing anything at that time. Because those are the fucking days of fucking TV Guide. And TV Guide was just about like, you had to read a book to figure out how to watch TV. And then you had to schedule your shit around it. And it never really paid off because they didn't invest that much money into these movies. I, I, I know that'll take you by surprise, but made for TV movies. Like, like one of them was about a, what, what, what was it? It was, it was just about like a family that moved into a house. And then they didn't know if the neighbor next door was a ghost. And it turned out that she was. And they're like, well, you know. Can't win them all. And then the credits are old. That was the name of the movie. It was called Can't Win Them All. Uh, Robert Old was in it. You're rich. You're rich. You're rich. But I, I got to give him credit because this movie starts off with a uh, real bang. Not only does it showcase the powers of the unholy Susan Lucci, but there's also some really hot wood paneled sedan action. Yeah, people in the past were idiots. People in the past now are idiots, but it was a different kind of idiocy back then. Now check out, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. When a character's making their first intro, and I, I, I gotta give her credit, she predated the Designing Women look by about a decade or so. They come in wearing uh, what looks like a jumpsuit crafted from tomato paste. And, you know, I, and, and I, I, I can, I can criticize her hair because I got my hair cut. If I didn't, it would basically look like how Susan Lucci looks like there. But not only that, she's got a uh, fucking, when you were evil, and this also reminds me of the miniseries V, Robert England was in that. But the evil people all wore like evil patches. So you could tell that they are the aliens because you're like, Who's an alien? And you're like, uh, does he got a patch? And the person would be like, no. And I'm like, okay, no, that guy's not one of them. And he'd be like, hey, hey, hey. And, the, and the patch would come off in his hand and he'd be just all pissed and have to go back to the UFO and do his shit. And eventually in that mini series, somebody gave birth to a half human, uh, half uh, UFO lizard baby. And um, I remember when I saw that, I was thinking, one, oh my God, they just showed somebody give birth to a half human, half lizard UFO alien baby. And two, God, the 80s suck. When will they be over? And now I regret that the second part, first part, not so much. Where are they going? Lucci out! Huh? 
Whoop! <laughs> Sam Avery. She does. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. We, the movie just started. We're literally one minute and 27 seconds into it. Susan Lou, she melted a man. She melted a man just because technically he committed manslaughter. But she's cool with that. I mean, she was like, Cool with the manslaughter part. She whoop, came back up. But once Susan Lucci points that finger, not only are you going to have to pay for a new rear window, but you're going to have to pay for a new body as well. Because you will melt. You will smolder. You will become dead. And uh, as the leader of the world's most popular satanic country club, Susan Lucci is here to give you lessons, not in tennis, but in running her over. Thank you, Sam Avery, by the way. Oh, I forgot Joanna Cassidy was in this. And Susan Lucci as Susan Lucci. Three flags, it's 15 points each. 460, 470, and 30 is 500. I'm winning. I don't want to play this dumb game anymore. Anyway, there's only any more animals, just dumb buildings. So count flags. They're worth 15, and there's lots of them. No fair. You can't count golf course flags. Daddy, golf course flags don't count, do they? According to international car game rules, the driver must remain neutral. <laughs> this is what life was like before handheld video games counting flags boy it sounds like computer heaven computers don't go to heaven what's a dumb girl just how robbie i told you not to call your sister names she only wants to be like you because she loves you no don't let your dumb sister know she's stupid Matt, I can't believe it's for real Executive in charge of special projects I still can't believe I'm joining a corporation Oh, you'll be just fine They need fresh blood <laughs> You're not sorry you're doing this, are you? Uh, my first writing project With All those lean years My crazy hours Midwest winters up to our elbows in snow They weren't lean years, Matt No, they were, they were it's time we Winslow's had a taste of the good life, huh, guys? Yeah. I like the snow. You didn't have to shovel it. Hey, kids, that's the building where your dad's going to work. I don't like the building that you're going to be working at, either. Why not? Because I can't see the people inside. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, you could if you went and s do these kids know that you can enter buildings or is it no th this was they didn't even have video games back then they so you probably couldn't even enter buildings what do you think yeah, i can't wait to see it it's our castle honey also you got to appreciate back when and this happened in so many movies back when the man would just say well i got a job on the other side of the planet and you're just going to go with me and I'm going to show it to you. I've seen it before. And like nobody questions it. They're, they're, they're just like, okay, we're moving to a completely new house because the uh, head of the family said so. And that's where we take marching orders from. And God, I hope I like it because I've got no input on this whatsoever because I'm not the biggest with the longest stick. Unless if the child uh, is really gifted. But that's a road I don't want to go down. Come on, Albert. It's so beautiful. I told you'd like it. Yeah. You like it, huh? Is that the poltergeist house? Backyard. Big backyard, lots of ass. Lots of ass? Better than I remembered it. Dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Along with the mortgage payments. 
Hey, Chris, you wait for me. Well, wait up. better late than never. <laughs> Wes Craven shitty made for TV movies. Have you ever seen such a gorgeous kitchen? Yes, because I've been here. Matt, honey, I'm going to cook you the best meal you've ever had. What a sound. Where do you want this thing? Whatever it is. Oh, careful, careful there. You're holding the 21st century in your hands there. Thought it was a box. Wait a minute, hold it. What the? Albert, get off the chair. Woo. Matt, I want you to take all your computer things and your inventions into the new lab at work. Pat, this is my baby. It's part of the family, Pat. Matt, I don't care. Kiss it. I want this house to be a Kiss house, it. Not a lab. Because I love you, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take it to the lab. It's a great idea. But then you'll kiss it. Look, computer machine. It's computering. What do you got there? Games? No, inventory. You guys losing my stuff, I'll know it. Hey, we don't lose nothing. Oh, yeah? I'm already missing a candy bar. Well, look around. It could be anywhere. Look around you. Kids today. I don't know. Wow. Hi. Uh, your antlers fell. I'm not tired of sleeping in this strange place, but you just gotta get used to it. Oh. Here we sit like Moving in is easy work. Birds in the wilderness, birds in the wilderness. Here we sit like birds in the wilderness, waiting to be saved. Oh, finally, the pizza man. I don't think it is the pizza man, Matt. They usually come to the front door. Maybe it's a zombie. Mommy. Hey, hey, hey. Give you a knuckle sandwich, you little character. You character? You little living entity. Sounds like a job for the head of the household. <laughs> Want to check it out, Pat? Absolutely. Wah, wah. <laughs> it's okay, we're being burglarized. Matt, over here. Huh? Zombies. Definitely. They do stuff like that. Come on, Robbie, come on. Zombies are made of matchsticks, which they juggle and bang against the door. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Just kidding, we're zombies. Uh. Hey, it's Frank what, Fontaine, Fontana from Murphy Brown. Hey. Janie? Wait, Matt, you really scared me. I Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> that was a zombie, but in there a zombie. Okay, I brought the film for you here. The uh, first one is free, but after that, we have a little charge. Tell them she had a change a bit since college. Still a primitive, tasteless sense of humor. But a highly advanced <laughs> formation sense of humor, huh? If it smells like piss, it's because it is. Yeah, well, the masks cool. were Tom's idea, right. not mine. We're getting ready for a big costume ball later this month at the club. Really? Anyway, welcome to paradise. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, let's get some wine. I'll show you my kitchen. Okay. <laughs> Wes Craven really building up the contrast here. I was so happy you have no oh, idea. Thanks to you, did a lot of arm twisting. I'll Not bet. at all. We were to spread of your invention. I'm telling you. When the company heard, they wanted to get you right into the project. You, you brilliant. The brilliant. company with the project in the invention. Uh, you're probably right. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, they heard about my sensors, right? The you sensors. Have, and I'll tell you something. With a huge. The device. You like this, it's gonna be that does the function. And I'll sell it. See, you look good. I look good. So to the customer. Here. Oh, no, here. <laughs> 
song. A song to celebrate, huh? Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. All right. You like old times, huh? Patricia, the struggling music major. Remember we used to sing around that horrible old upright piano in the dorm? Oh, I remember. <laughs> Is this the same one? Oh, just the same budget. <laughs> oh, no. Joanna, no. So it's a little out of tune. <laughs> Just a little. Don't worry about it. The days of out-of-tune pianos and uh, beat-up furniture is over for you two. So just relax. To friends. To success. 1984 is when they finally made out-of-tune pianos legal. By the way. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Days of out of tune pianos and beat up furniture are over. <laughs> 1984. Said the parrot as they finally sighted the island and they lived happily ever after. With all pianos Miami tuned. Beach, Miami Beach. Oh, Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Hi. Little sleepy dust there. Little sleepy dust there. Give me a kiss. Now it's time to sleep with the angels. My little cookie. Okay? Whoa! It's going to turn to the Amityville Horror. Die, my precious darling. Die. Good night. Oh, I hear video game. Ah, look at your dumb piece of shit. Warriors got three of my fighters, but I just blasted their whole mothership into hyperspace. Not interested. Galaxy is safe for democracy, you can go to sleep, right? Right. So if I just save the galaxy, how come I can't go to that Halloween party Jimmy's going to? Well, who says you can't? Jimmy said members only can go. Tell some stupid club. Are they members? Gonna... Only? He says everybody that's anybody around here belongs to the club, or is trying to. Mm. What do you think about that? Also 1984, good year for computers with the uh, first year Star Citizen. We'll try to keep an open mind. Was created. Open. It's one of your best traits. Go to sleep. Welcome, Commander of Earth Forces. Be advised approaching your galaxy you have several thousand years to prepare they have some good synthesized uh, voice clips in that game though. Piano tuned. Do you have any idea how much I love you? Do you have any idea what Sears and Robux catalog I got this nightgown from? Kids. See, uh, what's Craven? Really setting this movie up to show how much love there is. And the friendship between families. Also the fucking out of tune piano. But those goddamn days are over. Oh, he had sex fast. Hey. How you feeling, babe? It's your first night? Slept like a baby. <laughs> I love not being satanic. Matt Winslow, meet Larry Ferris. How you doing? Uh, Larry is my sponsor at Steaming Springs. You know the club? All right, uh, Thomas told me all about you. Yeah, well, sometimes Peterson speaks before he thinks. Micro Digitech, we like it the other way around. Micro Digitech. Thanks. Comp you. Mini. Macro. Buddy Ferris's warmth is positively reptilian. He's a great guy once you get to know him. I think he's a little ticked off because he had to ride my old jalopy today. <laughs> you guys don't usually carpool? Ferris? 
no, no, that's my boss. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, he had a flat tire and he was a little touchy probably because of that. Ferris in my junker, he must have been dying. <laughs> <laughs> well, Grace uh... Henderson, I want you to be my old fraternity buddy, Matt Winslow. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mr. Winslow. Ah, uh, it's Matt. I've prepared an operations manual for you. It's on your desk. Hail Satan. She is a marvel. Now, uh, this is... Uh, Marvel Madness. Believe me, there's not that much to look at, so we'll move right on to yours. Over okay. here, practically next there door. Are. Not too bad for starters, huh? Not bad. Now, let's go see your baby. Okay. Oh, man. They got busy fast. Oh, that was your baby. The man on Venus in the next three years, and when he gets there, he is going to be what? wearing a suit made by Micro Digitech and. We're colonizing Venus in 1984. I mean, uh, you know, I I I, I appreciate the can-do attitude of the American space system and and NASA's lofty goals in the 80s, but I mean, the space race took us. Uh, I, 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 I'm having a hard time understanding what we have to gain from colonizing Venus. And, uh, <clears throat> perfected by you, my friend. What do you think? Well, that's, uh, interesting. <laughs> Darn right. When he gets there, you know, it's going to be a bit of a hot time. We want to make sure he doesn't turn into a human french fry. Shit, shit, wait, sh should they? Okay, watch wait, he's also armed. All right. Okay, here we go. But power up. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. Nothing will stand up to that. Killer bricks, huh? <laughs> now watch this. All right, set the new shield in place. Now, uh, by the way, how do you like your uh, steaks? Charred or obliterated? Uh, medium rare. <laughs> it's not an option. It wasn't funny. Is that a suit or is that a suit? It's not bad. And, uh, okay, so, so so this entire company, their job, and, and, and let me go back because, uh, you know, my brain isn't really working well today. And um, Now, let's go see your baby. Okay. Got to be sure I got this right. Also, if you ever wanted to see an old woman look at the camera and then lock a filing cabinet, you get to see that twice. Okay, cut it! Like I said, the government wants a man on Venus in the next three years, and when he gets... Okay, so, so by 1987, NASA was planning getting a guy on Venus. We don't know why. There's something on Venus we need. Or we're just fucking showing off to the USSR at that point. I don't know. Uh, but that was the goal. And in instead of tackling the first problem, which would be transportation to Venus, we're working on a spacesuit that can withstand a flamethrower and also shoot a flamethrower. So, for all the creatures made out of fire that will attack space astronauts on Venus in 1987, with what, what, you know, the, the, the old proverb, fight Venus with fire. And so they, they can shoot lasers and flamethrow the things that are already on fire. There, there we go. Going to be wearing a suit made by Micro Digitech and uh, <clears throat> perfected by you, my friend. What do you think? Well, that's uh, interesting. <laughs> Darn right. When he gets there, you know, it's going to be a bit of a hot time. We want to make sure he doesn't turn into a human French fry. <laughs> oh, okay. Which is why we're equipping him with gas tanks to shoot fire. Power up. <laughs> also, the fact that the sleeves don't connect to the gloves is nice. Killer bricks, huh? <laughs> Watch this. All right, set the new shield in place. Now, uh, by the way, how do you like your uh, steaks? Charred or obliterated? Uh, medium rare. <laughs> we were thinking of giving him a way to breathe, but we haven't figured that part out yet. <laughs> huh? 
that a suit or is that a suit? It's not bad. You lit three bricks on fire. <laughs> not bad at all. What sort of onboard systems do you have on it now? Well, uh, on the suit we have uh, radio, weapons, oxygen, everything to keep the guy alive. It's going to be up to you to add the final. Radio, one. weapons, and oxygen. Hooked up to my sensors. That's right. We want sensors. this suit to be completely self-contained. Right. We want it to think. The guy inside's got to be like a pilot, not like a salami stuffed in his skin. Give me and my team two weeks, and this suit will think. It'll inform its occupant of everything vital and life-threatening going on around it. Automatically. <laughs> Temperature, atmosphere, even other beings within range. Other beings? beings within range? You mean it'll be able to sense if there's something non-human out there? He already created a fucking suit that's got a laser gun! What were they preparing for? Him to go to Venus and see, like, space bricks? And shoot them once with his fucking... James Bond laser and then light them on fire when they're clearly already on fire because they're on fucking Venus My friend we are going to build a suit for the 21st century. I mean the 20th darn they're over, right? All right. <laughs> you know Mary turned me on to this great new furniture store <laughs> Can you imagine what this place would look like completely redone? Huh? Just moved in. We're ignoring you. Grinty, come down. Not because we're rude, but because you're boring. Well, I guess the couch could be recovered if, in fact, we can't afford to buy a new one. You listening to me, Matt? Mm. Venus. Matt? Venus. Use my lips. The place looks like a fraternity house. Yeah, I know. It's great, huh? Friendly. I want to refer yeah, every fraternity house has plates on the wall. Right. We're grown up now. You work for a big corporation. I'm the wife of a big wheel. <laughs> you want Stupid. our children to bring their friends home and have them laugh at the place? Foul. Bringing kids into an argument is beneath you, Patricia. You're not ashamed to bring your friends home from school, are you, Robbie? If I was in my what friends? Venus suit, I'd school anyway. fucking kill you all. Funked his first math quiz. Robbie, you failed a math test? So I had an off day. Eh, what are you gonna do about it? Hi, Jimmy, come Hi. on in. Thank you. Is your mom with you? No, she's at the club. Gonna be married members tomorrow. His dad and mom are over there signing papers or something. Oh, that's terrific. I'm gonna freely mock the interior of your shoddily designed home. This is Billy Ferris. Your dad works for his dad. I was telling him about your computers and everything. Hi. You got Astro Bomber? Yeah, of course. I get $20, says so you lose. <laughs> I don't bet money anymore, but I'll bet you this house you're full of hot air. You're full of excuses. <laughs> well, I see our son met the neighborhood assholes. Furniture sure is old. Ah, they actually are making <laughs> furniture. Oh, Matt! <laughs> All it took was a condemnation of a small child to win him over. Oh, oh, Astro Bomber. Okay, hold on, hold on. No, go back. Let's go look at some new furniture. Oh. Joanna Cassidy's so happy about new furniture. Okay, I want to look and see here. Okay, we got uh, latitude, longitude, fuel. Uh, I don't know what the green line is. We have galactic missiles, which is good because when you're in a galaxy, you want that. And we have um, integers. We, we, we have numbers everywhere. Two underscores and an arrow. That's gameplay, folks. And in case if you're playing the game and you forget which game you're playing and somebody's like, what game you're playing? You're like, look at the game. You're like, the fuck if I know. Right there, it says it. Astro Bomber. All I got to do is read Astro Bomber. That's the name of the game. 
I'm doing it. <laughs> Your mothership has been blasted to hyperspace. The fucker ship. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? No one beats me. No one. Oh. Well. Oh, jeez. The perils of losing a mothership is hard on children. What are you looking at? Nothing. A loser with Wanna a broken go get game. A Your furniture is old and stupid. Let's go get a cookie. Fun kids. I've heard noisy times in you two recently. The reason why we aren't talking is because Billy Ferris. Billy Ferris, what, honey? Oh, nothing, Mom. <laughs> Billy Ferris drives like a maniac when it comes to the country club. <laughs> Killer washing machine. No, that is Ghost in the Machine. And it's sad that I know that. Some kind of maniac. We, got, we could have been killed. I got two small children in there. If only your children were bigger, there wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. I was in such a hurry. This was all my fault. I was really? making my belt out of electrical tape. I would like to accommodate you, Matthew. But I am in a hurry. Chrissy and Robbie are okay, aren't they? And Patricia? Uh, yeah, they're all right, but... Tom Peterson told me all about you and your lovely family. Perhaps you'll pay me a visit soon at the club. I don't even know who you are. Just me neither. I'm the club's director. Well, that's uh, real nice, Miss Jones. I'd still like to have the name of your insurance company. I don't think that will be necessary, Mr. Winslow. Sir, Miss Jones is in a hurry. Yes. And again, I'm sorry for any inconvenience. Convenience? What about my car? I know it doesn't look like much to you, but it's the only car I've got. I have to have the whole front end reliant. Everything will be taken care of to your satisfaction, sir. Now, why don't you get back to the wife and children? Hey, I, I've been driving 20 years. I've never seen an accident handled like this. Matthew. <laughs> Matthew. If you don't mind my calling you that. Look, I do mind, all right? Here, we're a small, tight-knit, and we like to think friendly community. And because of it, we do things a little differently. I'm sure you get my drift, don't you, Matthew? Yeah, I do. I don't like your drift. Come on, Matt, let's go. It's history, okay? But my car is totaled. It'll never drive again. Have a nice day. Mrs. Winslow. Drive carefully, Matthew. Uh, but my alignment! You are now accepted into the inner circle. And by the... Ah, uh, the Three Leeches Club. Spring, you forever forsake the mundane world and merge yourself into the protective, exclusive shield of the club. Do you forsake all for the club? No. Nah. I do. And enter into the spring and taste its power. It, it's just really hot stones. It's... I, I, I make it seem like it's more important than it is. I'm sorry. It's really a letdown when you get in. Ugh. Golem cop. Okay, here we go. Well, put it on. Okay, pretend like you're in Venus. Up and running? Oh, yeah. Start with the thermal sensors. Twenty-one degrees Celsius. Seventy degrees Fahrenheit. Room temperature. Wow. All right. Okay. I want you to target the match. The center of the target area. 
926 Celsius. Okay, now look at my forehead and see if I have COVID. Nice flame temperature. Perfect. Wait, he, he's, he, he's 926 degrees Celsius too. Look straight ahead. No peaking. Ready? Can you make the uh, beeping a little bit louder? Human terrestrial benign. It's amazing. It's working. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, it can analyze your. Really? It. Non-human terrestrial benign. It's not an evil plant. <laughs> no. Just reads auras, sort of. Like Capra's gonna be if it can spot hostile non-terrestrial life forms. So, amidst all this science that all these brave men and other men are creating for the noble goal of colonizing Jupiter, they have a sensor on the helmet that can detect if there are hostile plants. By reading its aura. Like they, they, they were, you know, kind of waiting in the pool of scientific terms for a while. But then we just kind of jumped to reading auras and uh, the, 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 the whole colonizing Venus thing. I mean, it seems like, you know... Uh, Again, I'm going to stress that I, I would assume a large part, uh, a, a large, very important part of getting the first man to Venus would be transportation. I'm assuming that's handled somewhere else. But fortunately, when we get the first brave astronaut to Venus and he steps foot onto the Venetian Venusian Venusian surface if they're if he's like surrounded by plants he can like read the auras of every single potted plant and he's like that one's got the bad attitude and all the other plants are just like shit this guy's right I wish you would have gotten to Venus earlier and then they like just like the evil plant on fire and also Capricorn. I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm working on the computer to feed it synthetic data dissimilar from any life. Synthetic data, finally. To do that, we'll see how the helmet reacts to it. No more actual data. We're going to synthesize data. I've had it up to here with data that is accurate. We're going to synthesize some data for horoscopes. Mr. Winslow, give me security. Look. Uh, never mind, it's a false alarm. Grace, aren't you kind of off limits? I mean, if what? I found you in here, you'd be canned. Well, if you feel you should turn me in, I'll understand. Just do what your conscience tells you. Now you put on my space helmet and... Check out your aura. Something I want you to read. Thank you, Squeak. Whispering pustule. I, <laughs> I have to save up for whispering pustule. Are you back in here? Did he just push an old woman into a bunch of B rolls? Yes, sir. Matt. Thank you, Squeak. By the way, I appreciate it. Also, it's that guy that's in every movie. I'm not talking about Robert Urich. Yeah, no, the guy who talks like this. Jessica, allow me to present Matt Winslow. This is Miss Jones of the Steaming Springs Country Club. It, it, Hello again, Matt. Is there oh, some yeah. sort of temporal vortex in her hat Always that's able to keep her hair in? Each other once or twice. <laughs> You're just the sort who should join her club. I've heard great things about you. Thank you, sir. 
Anyway, I thought you might let Miss Jones have a peek at your lab. Uh, sir, that's uh, pretty cool. No women allowed. Hell, Miss Jones is family. Show her the suit. And then, would you join me in my office? Sue? Yes, sir. Right this way. This is the main computer test bank, which brings us back to the suit. Uh, it reads the auras of plants. Fire-resistant, anti-corrosive. It will also have the capabilities of... Did you play a sport in college? What? Sport. Yeah. Rowing. This helmet... I uh, knew it. I could tell from the way your body is muscled. Lean, yet very strong. You should join the club, Matthew. Lots of exercise equipment, lots of pleasurable things. These Plus people's... People, people on their way up, like you. Well, I guess I'm just not much of a joiner. Some things can do a lot more for you than you think. Uh, I'll think about it. So, uh, anyways, about Venus, um, we're going there, uh, for reasons, and, uh, You want to follow me? Schumann Beignet. Schumann. Oh my god! It totally read her aura. But in all fairness, that's what pops up with any woman. Where's Tom? Is this all? Oh, yeah? His office is empty. It's cleaned out. Somewhere else. Room three. The executive wing. See you in a minute. Matt, I just wanted to say... Ring, ring, ring? Thanks. Sure. She has that disorder where when you try to talk, phone phone ringing sounds come out of your mouth. Michael Winslow disease. Okay, whose office is this? Is this your office? You got promoted! Tom, you got promoted! He can well, aren't you use two computering machines at once! It took them damn long enough. What? I think you'd be swinging from the chandeliers. Yeah, I would. I would. Look, all, all we have, though, is this uh, recessed lighting, you know. <laughs> That's great. So, how about it? Do I have your okay? For what? To sponsor you at the club? Oh, um, come on. Oh, three I'm computer... Three four computer... Jesus Christ, this guy can't move an inch without getting a new computering machine. Showing her our supposedly top secret suit. Whoops. Okay. See what I mean? You join the club, you start rubbing shoulders with top, top people. Yeah. Look, Tom, I appreciate what you're trying to do. I I'm just not sure it's right for me, that's all. It'd be great for the kids, it would be a terrific social outlet for Patricia, and it'd be fantastic for you. Look, before you can really... We just really need you, you at the Area Nation. Play the game. Step over a few bodies. Rub shoulders with the people at that club. The big wigs and the fat cats. Maybe your life. Not my life. Tom, I appreciate your advice and what you're trying to do. Uh, I gotta get back to programming. I should... Listen to me, Matt. This is great, Matt. buddy. I, mean, I can't believe this. This is great. Congratulations again. This guy is, like, promoting the club with the urgency of, you know, how they tried to make you eat the stuff. This piano is so in tune. The days of Joanna Cassidy playing out of tune pianos are long gone.
This is 1984. Hi, how you doing? That sounded pretty. Well, thank you. Yeah, we got the piano tune. Oh. <clears throat> you, you sure you don't mind about this? Oh, I don't mind at all. Hey, cutie pie, you ready for the slumber party? Yeah. Great. <laughs> hey, kids, Janie, Jimmy, and Billy are here. Oh, go ahead. Go okay. ahead. If you have, if there's any electronics, just break them in advance. Let me know. Mary, is that a new car? <laughs> it's a beauty, isn't it? Wow. Talk uh, on it. Just a little something to run around in. Just a little something. <laughs> you kidding? This is no little something. <gasps> wow. It is not little. Oh, I've got to get going. Oh, I wish you were a member. You know, club parties can be so much fun. Everyone who's anyone will be there. Every piano tuned perfectly. I just wish Matt weren't being so stubborn. All 20 yards of car back out. The last 10 years haven't been easy on us, Matt. And I want a piece of the pie. And if the club can help us have that, I don't see where there's any crime. Capitalism. I don't think it's out of line to want something that we deserve, Matt. Yeah, sure, no. Materialism. I'm trying to tell you how I feel. Everyone at work is climbing all over each other, no matter what the cost. That damn club, that's all anybody ever talks about. It's a little scary, Pat. I'm a little scared. Because it's scary. That's why I'm scared. Maybe you are afraid. Afraid of success. Hmm? Matt! I'm gonna sleep in a different house. Oh, Machine Gun, the movie he's playing. God, if only he had that helmet on. I could tell if that phone was malign or not. Oh, I love this movie. Indiscriminate fighting. Billy. Should be watching that stuff looking good night. <laughs> Shouldn't do that. I said, go to bed. I mean it. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Made you jump, Mr. Winslow? All right, all of you, go on. Go to bed. Uh, I'm really confused. If you guys were houseplants, I could sort this out. But right now, I... Uh... God, that was a really popular movie in the 80s. I totally forgot about that. Good morning, Grace. Do you have any new readouts? Oh, good morning, Mr. Winslow. I'm Tracy Winters. Yeah, Grace, you... Uh... Oh, Mr. Got new clothes and makeup and face. I've arranged for your staff meeting at 11 o'clock sharp, and the new data on your suit will be on your desk no later than 3. Yeah, but what happened to Mrs. Henderson? Well, I haven't the slightest idea, but I can tell you that when Mr. Thompson does something, he does it for a very good reason, and it stays done. You see, when old people get old, sometimes they get too old, and when that happens... 
I understand how you feel, Winslow, but Mrs. Henderson was just not company timber. Hmm. Timber. What are we talking about here? People or trees? More importantly, her <laughs> loyalty was at issue. Here at Micro Digitech, we demand absolute loyalty. Loyalty. Potted plants. What about She's them? The best secretary I've ever and had. once a decision is made, we expect our employees to put aside personal feelings. I've only been here for two days. It would be a shame to jeopardize all the fine work you've been doing for us here. All right, that does it. We don't need to get all worked up. I'm sure that we can reach a compromise. Look, if you feel the same way about it in two weeks, you'll have Mrs. Henderson back. How's that a deal? In your arms. All right. Two weeks. Good, good. Now let me tell you about the club. Get that out of the way. Tom Peterson tells me that you are becoming a member. Oh, my Steaming God. Springs. <laughs> I am. Fantastic. Just fantastic. I look forward to your becoming one of us. The club is a special place. Very special. They have two exercise bikes. Keep up the good work. So, you've got a world-class golf course, landscape gardens, your riding trails back in there. Also, there's a door where you meet Satan. <laughs> you know, uh, go through that later. Yes, pen this view almost anywhere you turn your eyes. Really, Tom? <laughs> oh, just uh, You know, even though I'm vice president in charge of marketing, I don't know what it is about you two. It brings the salesman out in me. I, I don't know. I feel like this guy is like two inches away from trying to sell him cocaine. You please What's in there, Tom? It's over oh, here. over here? It's a pool. It's called water. Oh, uh... Matt, I think you know Miss Jones. Uh, Patricia Winslow, this is uh, Jessica Jones. Matt, nice to see you again. Hello, Patricia. How do you do? Well, I must say I just love your dress. The color is so becoming to you. Well, thank you, Miss Jones. But if we're going to be friends, and I sincerely hope we will be, you Change. have to call me Jessica immediately. <laughs> Come on, I'll, I'll show you around personally. Unusual. She let anybody call her by her first name. We have a we have a pool table. We're only missing three of the balls. Uh, you have to bring your own pool stick. This is my favorite room. All our members are encouraged to work out, stay trim, attractive. Mm. But you already know how important that is, don't you, Patricia? Elizabeth, hi. You're doing great. Frank steps in. President of CD Computer Corp. Meet Matt Winslow, Micro Digitech. Hi. Hi. As soon as you climb aboard here, I'd like to talk to you about that spacesuit you're working on. I've heard some good things about you. We're looking at Saturn. Maybe you can make us a suit for family here. Saturn. News of a prospective new member travels fast to the highest level. And once you go through our trial period where we get to know you and you get to know us, then the initiation is a simple matter. How long will that take, Jessica? Four weeks. Maybe even three, depending on how quickly you can fit in. Sure, there'll be no problem. Fit in. Nice of you to say. Wouldn't that be exciting, Matt? Uh, yeah. God, there's fucking potted plants everywhere. His, his visor would be going nutty. It's our annual Halloween ball with all their friends. You will, of course, have to already be full-fledged members. Uh, mm. Now I know why all the kids in the neighborhood have been trying to scare the pants off. I if you will follow me, I'll take you back up to the formal. Watching IRA videos. <laughs> Somebody constipated. Come on. They, they leave the uh, gates to hell just kind of wide open. It's on the honor system not to investigate and find out that there's a gateway to hell in the country club. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think your door is like getting off or something. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. This is like one of those shitty Resident Evil puzzles. I didn't know numbers go all the way up to nine. I seem to have lost you, Matthew. I, I thought I heard someone crying for, uh, for help. It was probably someone crying out in ecstasy. Uh, Pleasure can make you feel that good, you know. Uh, no, no, it was more like... You don't care that much about money, I can tell. But doors... You and you care about pleasure, don't you? Yes. I don't know. What about limestone? How do you feel about that? Matthew. Uh, I, I gotta go. Venus needs to be colonized. That your membership here is as pleasurable as possible. I better get back to Patricia. It's like that, Chuck. Tell you later, let's just get out of here. Oh, but wait, Jessica's just invited us for lunch and I want to go. I said, come on. Well, I'm certainly not the child here. Huh? Okay, you want to have lunch with Jessica? You go right ahead. I'll just do that. Maybe you ought to join up, Patricia. Join the in crowd. Uh... Matt, please come with me. Overreaction Theater presents. You come with me. <laughs> Chili's alone again. Was Janie there? Yeah, honey. Janie and Jimmy were there with the rest of the kids. They were helping decorate for that Halloween thing they're having. Did the pool have a diving board? Hmm? Is the piano tuned? Did Susan Lucci show you the orgasming door? Apologizing for. Matt, I love you so much. Is Daddy in from the cove? Yeah. <laughs> Don't wander way too far, kids. We're gonna leave soon. We won't! Don't we? Kids love to throw things in water. It's the 80s. There's nothing else to do, literally. What is it, Patricia? You seem troubled. <laughs> well, it's just that it's so lovely here. I really like it so much. I just wish that Matt felt the same way. I want to sleep on the golf course like Donnie Darko. Jesus, that hair. Matt into thinking we're something to be resisted. That frightens you into thinking that we're so formal we can't bend the rules a little for someone who so clearly belongs. She's like a fucking mane. Miss Jones, Jessica, Jessica, I'm not sure what you're saying. I'm simply saying that if you want to join and the children want to join, there's no reason the club has to be religious about its rule that families join as a unit. You mean it'd be okay if the kids and I join without Matt? Why in the world not? It's a family, Why only without the family. The Halloween ball. Why should you miss the company of people you prefer? 
Of course, if you'd like to think it over. When can we do it? <sighs> Patricia, Robbie, Chrissy, you are now accepted into the inner circle. And by this... This is why I... Don't go to fitness clubs. This is the part I don't like. Merge yourselves into the protective, exclusive shield of the club. Mom, do we get to keep the robes? I do. I do. Then enter in Hey, she got a free pass. She didn't say shit. I now pronounce you mother and children. Go ahead. Your child may freely back up against this grown man's groin. I had a space suit that could analyze the aura of plants on Venus. The end. Oh. Quiet. Bed's made. I was sure I was in the wrong house. I only have time for a cup of tea. Don't you look nice? Thank you, darling. Thought you deserved a little extra rest this morning. Let's consider it. Hmm. Uh, what's really going on here? Satan. Nothing. You ding the car while I was sleeping? Something happened at the club. Mm hmm? Mm, 666 things. One of those snobs say something? The club was just great, Dad. We liked it a lot. We were shooting. Just join. Come to the screaming room with us. Robbie, let Albert in, huh? Oh, honey, I think Albert's perfectly happy outside. Hmm. Come on, Albert. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey what's the matter? Dogs hate Satan. Get out of this house, you stupid dog. Just stay out there. Trisha, what are you doing? He's yelling at the dog. Like something. Don't scare him anymore. I'm sorry, Matt. It's just that he was growling at the children, and I thought that, you know, that I would... I'll go check it out. Oh, no, it's okay. Honey, you're late to work, so go ahead. Uh, I'll take him to the vets if you want. Probably just something he ate. Okay? Well, take care of it. It's all right. All right. The dog that was allergic to Satan. For a second there, it looked like he was afraid of you guys. Just give him some Don't Benadryl. Be you have a lovely day, honey. I'll take care of Albert. See you later. The Darkwood Ring Supreme. Bye. I think you need more milk. That's the problem. Well. So this is how the Venus colonization process. Waiting time, genius. Buy you beer. Goes. Uh, no thanks, not today, Tom. Come to the club. How about the club? Get something off your chest. At the club? Uh, just family stuff. We talked family stuff before. Oh, well, it's no biggie. It's just that my wife and kids felt like strangers this morning. Starting to feel like we live in two separate worlds these days. I know what it is. Your phone is fucking huge, man. I know you don't want to hear this. But the club. But your wife and kids want you to join the club. Mm. No, you don't know. I mean, they've changed, Tom. Even the family dog has changed. <laughs> the dog is in the club? Nothing crazy. <laughs> Bananas. <laughs> Look, it hasn't changed me at all, has it? Still the same guy. 
The only thing is, I've got a promotion and a higher gasoline bill. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, join the club. Think about it. Uh, also, we got to be a, on Venus in like three days, so plan that trip out. Miss Winters. Hello. Hello, uh, Matt Winslow. Uh, you remember Mrs. Henderson, don't you? Mm -mm. Oh, Grace, yeah. My, My mom. mom. Her husband. I run a animal clinic and kennels. Aminal? Her husband was a veterinarian, right? There's something I've got to talk to you about. I hope that I'm not out of line calling you at the office. Uh, no, no, you're not out of line. As a matter of fact, I was meaning to call Grace. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I just stepped away from my desk for a minute. C would you like me to take that call for you? Uh, no, no, it's, uh, it's all right. It's a uh, family. He can go on home, Miss Swinners. All right. Good night. Try the club. Now, uh, what's your address? Three. Just keep driving and you'll get there, man. Just keep driving. Dagon was a terrible movie. No fun, no hope. Not to be argumentative. I called you here because I want to put the first dog on Venus. This is nice. Feels good after where I work. Can you tell me again what happened? Well, your wife brought the dog here this morning. Said she got our name from a card Grace had given you. Oh, yeah, I remember the uh, card was on the fridge. Well, she brought the animal in and said that it had attacked her children. And that that was the final straw. Final straw? She said the children. dog was vicious from day one. Probably some kind of brain tumor. Couldn't be trusted with people anymore. What? Said I should put him out of her misery, is the way she put it. Doesn't sound like that. Huh? She loved that dog. I'll have to kill him. Did you do it? She wanted to watch. <laughs> I told her I didn't operate that way. Why did she just she do it? She'd have to take the dog somewhere else. She kept saying how dangerous he was and how he had to be killed. So I told her that I would do it after she was out of the drive. I told her there wasn't another vet for 50 miles. In short, I lied through my teeth. There's I don't a vet do that. two blocks down. But I did. <laughs> Hey, Albert, come here, boy. Come on, come on. Hey, how you doing? Oh, now you tell me, is that a vicious dog from day one? Mm, uh, put on your uh, Venus helmet. Check out its aura. You'll be able to tell. Squeak, thank you. Treats for the tipsy. <laughs> Uh, I gotta tell you guys, Tipsy was a vicious dog from day six. She waited a while. Honey, someone's stealing our ladder. Treats for the Tipsy. Blood for the Blood Day. Woo. Woo. <laughs> God, she made the house more boring. The ghosts of detuned pianos past. Hi, darling. I didn't hear you come in. Mm. 
What's wrong? Uh, Patricia, the colors, uh... I thought you wanted something more... cheerful. Oh, that. <laughs> well, I spoke to Jessica, and she said that the mood is what's in this year. Uh... Oh, did you have a rough day, darling? We're out of milk. Patricia, where's the dog? We don't need dog. Albert's at the vet's. I talked to the vet, Patricia. He's my ex-secretary's husband, remember? He told me what you said. He told me what you did. All those lies. I try and give you everything you want, Matt. I try to be a perfect wife, a perfect mother, a perfect lover. Everything All at once. you need. It's gross and not appropriate. Do I ask very much in return? All I do is ask you to spend more time with the children and me. Glue more plates on the wall for me! Yes, over a dog that may be rabid or even worse. I don't know. And just give us a little bit more of yourself. Just enough to keep us together. Join us, Matt. Join us before we become a family of strangers. No. Oh. The Family of Strangers, Lifetime Network movie. Okay, Patricia. It's all right. It's going to be all right. Okay. Okay. I couldn't help but notice you dropped the knife. What about dinner? Is it? Check the status of that. Satan loves to sleep at reasonable hours. It's Kate here when the children hear it. Oh, you take it, darling? Come on, honey. Personally, what? Stop, no! To you, darling, that's all. Just making love to you. I don't know if they ate dinner or not. I Honey, do you only have three fingers? Patricia. Are you alright? Satan sleepy. Did we have sex or did you just claw me with a fork or Ah, Rhea Pearlman. Patricia. Did you join without me? <laughs> it's just a Costco membership. It's not a big deal.
Hey boss, I'm gonna be a little late. I got hurt having sex with my wife. Hello? Walt, it's me, Matt Winslow. Listen, has Grace gotten back yet? She's dead, Matt. What? Highway patrol says she must have fallen asleep. At the wheel. I don't know. She went off the road into a tree. Hmm. My God. Walt, I'm so sorry. The car burned, Matt. There wasn't anything left. Well, just, uh, I'm not good with emotions. Ah, the sounds of satanic piano tuning. Congratulations, we're now importing and selling Colombian cocaine. I forgot the new uh, furniture was coming today. Can't believe how different it makes the place feel. Wait a minute. There's a new piano, too. We, we didn't buy a piano, did we? Isn't that a wonderful instrument? Someone did. Matt, did you hear how I sounded? <laughs> it's uh, a little different from the gentle Patricia I used to know. It's in tune! Where did that get me? Where has that gotten any of us? This? What I want, Matthew, is some power. What the fuck is hanging over the fireplace? We can have the power to have the things that we want. Like, like, like margarine. I guess, <laughs> I guess I just got a little out of control, Matt. I, I wanted to make a point, you know. Where did this piano come from? Oh, well, you're not going to this, but uh, to make up for that near miss we had the other day, she gave it to us. She gave it to me. It's Satan's piano. It's Jones. Jessica. She's so incredible. Yeah, incredible. Incredibly... Uh, uh, ugh, I got nothing. Oh, another late night working on my Venetian spacesuit. Only a matter of time before some suckers shooting flames and lasers on the surface of Venus. God, Mind Rip was a terrible movie. I've got something I want you to read, Matt. <gasps> I remember those sounds with my ears. I this is it's like all my favorite scenes again. Okay, uh, we changed the specs on the spacesuit. We want we want it to be made out of fire. Can you do that? In, instead of synthetic poly oh. movements within micro digitech in the past two years. Wow. Upper echelon personnel. That is very specific search terms. Motor device president. Uh huh. Motor 
to date a manager. That man's name was oh, Albert Alternstein. Everybody's getting promoted. Mm hmm. Except you. Because all you do is make hats that analyze the auras of potted plants. <laughs> all right. Firm grasp of how complex search engines were back in 1984. Perfect crime. Please. Did he break in just so he could break out? Just keep it moving. Jones wants us in on time. Don't worry. Satan loves balloons. Do you mind telling me what well, you're doing up there talking when you're supposed to be working? You've been up here 20 minutes and it's still not done. What is it, such a big deal? Oh. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, he's going to solve the uh, keypad uh, puzzle by just beating it with a golf club. This baby works. <laughs> got this from Edward Furlong in Terminator 2. Oh, oh God. What an odd coincidence that it starts with 666. That's also uh, uh, the mark of the best, I heard. Oh, he's Dr. Peter Vakeman. Do you have any comments, Dor? 800 degrees. No human can stand that. Was the guy mad that he would got in or that he made the comment no human could stand that? I'm large and I can. I like how the utility storage room is right next to the gateway to hell. It's like they're getting the guys to like, you know, move in all this stuff from the previous satanic country club. And they're like, should we go to the door that's orgasming and that has a hundred, 800 degree heat coming from it? And they're like, no, go to the other door, the, the colder one. With a dead electrocuted security guard. <laughs> Honey, my day was great. I murdered a man. <laughs> if everybody's a member of this country club, why are there so many dogs still alive?
We're playing Dungeons and Dragons. you down like the dog oh asthma my daughter <laughs> tell me where my daughter is but i am your daughter no you're not she's down there through those springs isn't she <laughs> good Chrissy is but now you've just got bad Chrissy bad 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 Tell me how I can get her back. Tell me. You can. You're a bird. You're a bird? <laughs> the ravages of capitalism and materialism have taken over. Bear the ghost. Lucy, <laughs> stop it. Don't hurt yourself. But he just said it's not her! Baron de Ghost, thank you again, by the way. Should be barred, should be bird. If Satan played <laughs> <and D. laughs> Come on, it's quality time with the family. You're having fun. Admit it. Daddy had a hard day at work designing Venetian space suits and murdering security guards. There, there you go. Why our coat closet has a lock on it, which I did not engage. Oh. Oh, Joanna Cassidy knocked out very easily. Oh no, I killed someone who wasn't my wife. If you guys need anything, call my office. I'll be at the Motel 6 for the night. Oh, he actually is getting all gussied up for a trip to Venus. What are you doing, Matt? Nothing. Thomas, you are. Uh, I was just going to run some tests on the suit. At 8 o'clock on a Saturday night? Well, you know what they say. And I don't mm. mind as the devil's playground. What? Then why do I see fear in your eyes? You're not one of us, Matt. But I've got a built-in surround sound speaker system. Oh, he's gonna laser his ass. Tom? We are the winners. This is for Murphy Brown. We have to get rid of the losers. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry, man, I meant to use the flamethrower on you, but the laser, that's the only button I could remember. The end.
wasn't that the lady from the Resident Evil game? <laughs> Dear God. Really? <laughs> Thank you again, my man. How's your car running? Uh, it's, uh, great. Just I too am evil. Yeah. Set lasers to fun. Right Set lasers to non human. Why couldn't he detect his aura? Is that guy dressed as a Nazi? But seriously, that does look like a fun party. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Who's in there? Uh, Satan lover! 666. Is he taking a $10 million suit out of the lab? He half the uh, aerospace executives are here tonight. Besides, what better way to promote the suit, huh? It's only a market, but it's not the real thing. Hey, that's genius. That's, that's pure sales genius. <laughs> hey, everybody, take a look at Peterson. Lawrence. I like the uh, vacuum tubes just connected to random holes on his stomach. Some costume. Huh? <laughs> uh, Bound to win the prize. It's not Tom Peterson. Well... Uh, uh, Heil Hitler? I, I don't know. Uh. Listen, lady, I've killed a security guard. I've locked my children in the closet, and I think I... Oh. oh. Preemptive strike. Is it hot in here, or is it just the star of all my children? I'm not done. Give me, give me a bit. Walk slower. What's the code? Oh. Got it. Take the time, party's gonna be all night long. Just in hell. Oof. Hey, Susan, uh, which way to treadmill? When you get cardio. I guess she gave up walking slowly after him. I, 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 I don't know. Huh? <laughs> okay. Well, abandon that idea.
I'm still debating if I want to join or not. you in the fucking closet what the hell do you think you can run from me walk briskly do you think your weapons can touch me do you think two plus nine is three Help me! that's just an illusion Matthew. i'm just an illusion here Broken to bits if you jump. Help me! Save us! That is one. Oh, Satanopolis, he made it. So they have cars in hell. They have uh, station wagons in hell. Nice to know. Daddy, the plants are malign. Another car in hell. know his wife plays piano in hell. Trisha? You won't believe the day I had. Let me tell you about it. What do you want? A membership is for 30 days minimum. Everyone Everyone who walked through that doorway at the springs did so willingly. Now you can choose power too, Matt. That and outfit please. looks like something Grace Jones threw away. Submit. Uh uh. No, don't! Don't go in there! Okay. Not even your suit can shield you in there. <laughs> Lady, I am a suit. Matthew. Are you stripping? Matthew. Ah, yes. There goes about three trillion dollars worth of equipment. Take it back, Matt. Um. Ah! 
I warned you, Matthew. You should listen to me. I thought you were it's kidding. Break in on her now. Besides, that's just the weak Patricia. Oh. Oh. She's the good Patricia. That's what you've done, isn't it? Uh huh. You've taken all the love, all the good people who join the club, and put them down here. To be honest, your wife was kind of shitty to begin with, but whatever. When you can have me. Ew. Oh, Matthew. I was so foolish. Thinking to tempt you with money or position. What you really want is to taste the fire. Is he on the event horizon? You with know a drum true. machine glued to his chest? You're bored with anything less now. Admit it. You want me. I want my wife. I am so gonna get I naked and walk kids. into a fucking laser beam. I want my family. I condemn you, Matthew. I can curse your soul to this place for eternity if I want. Don't do that. I don't think you can. Don't do you that. So yourself. All you can do is lie. He's on the verge of becoming Pierce Brosnan. Contempt. The choice is up to us. It's up to me. Honey, why aren't you playing the piano? Entertain me. Oh wait, she is, but it's quiet. Matthew! Patricia. <laughs> Remember where Do they wear eyes odds in hell? When we cared about each other more than anything else. Patricia. I love you. Matthew! <laughs> Susan, Lucy's powers are very... <laughs> I love you. Ugh. Dad! Daddy! Ah, shit. Our child has become a mime. Don't touch him! Bobby! Don't touch him! Don't touch him! You did the thing I said not to do! Why did you rescue my brother first? What does that mean? Oh. Free bricks. We got flying bricks. We got tickling the ivory. We got rotating Susan Lucci. Oh, there you go. That'll happen. All it takes is a family going through laser beams to kill Susan Lucci. Somehow. For some... I just can't get the spacesuit back. Oh, dear God. Where have we been, Matt? It's okay, Matt. It's okay, we're home. We're together. I decided we should join the country club. Have you seen the golf course? I mean, it's really good. Come here. Come here, Alex. Wait, so freeing them from hell restored their furniture? And the doll? Uh, you were just in hell. Why are you covering your eyes from the light? We heard on the radio. It's been burning all night. Is anybody hurt? I don't know yet. There are a lot of fire engines over there, though. This just in. This just in. Astronaut from Venus kills Susan Lucci, the devil, in Satanic Country Club. Let's go see. The club's been on fire all night. They can't put it out. It burned. The club burned down to the ground. Ah! That's not. <laughs> all gone. 
fine. <laughs> yes, honey, it's all gone. Bunny's hungry. Guess I better feed Bunny, huh? Yeah. Uh. Hey, you guys, uh, I, I gotta tell you about your doppelgangers. Okay, I locked you two in the closet, and I think I killed you, honey. I'll be right there. Wow, they they adapt really quickly. Although I think I'm fairly certain Robert Urich is going to be out of a job because it's going to like come to one of those performance reviews, and they're going to be like, "Well, what happened to the suit? You know that that the multi-billion-dollar suit that we've been working on nonstop, so man can finally, finally." realize his goal of inhabiting venus and he's like oh that well see i was in hell and i was stripping so i could uh save my wife from playing the piano and then pick up my two children who were miming and then we came back and the country club burned down and long story short, the astronaut suit is in hell. And they're like, well, even the 808 that you taped to the front of it, he's like, yeah. I had a 7 1 surround sound on my own supple nipples. And we lost that. We lost the drum machine. We lost the helmet that was able to detect the aura of plants by using, by utilizing the power of horoscopes. And uh, kind of killed a security guard, uh, shot a few people with lasers. Um, yeah, I uh, uh, honestly, I don't expect to get that promotion that we were talking about. And then they're, they're, they get like the, the phone rings, they pick it up and they go, oh, that was the president. He called off the NASA mission to Venus because he talked to one of his advisors and he told them it was really stupid. And he's like, wow, saved by the bell. So what does our company do now? And I go bankrupt. And then they all have a fun time in front of the fireplace with a detuned piano because they escaped from hell but found themselves in yet another hell. Thank you for watching. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, may Satan bless you. And I extend my country club membership to each and every one of you. Thank you. It's not your planet, Grub. It's free for the taking. 
We'll fight to the end! You'll never win! Oh. Uh.